As the September 20th election draws near, Castanet Vernon is talking to all five North Okanagan Shushaw hopefuls. Today, we're talking with incumbent Conservative MP, Mel Arnold. Hi, I'm Mel Arnold, your Conservative candidate for North Okanagan for uh, Shushwap for 2021. Over the past weeks, people have continually asked me, why are we in the middle of an election when we have a fourth wave of, pan of a pandemic and in the middle of a wildfire season? And the answer is quite simple. Justin called this election to further his own political interests, not in the interests of Canadians. Even so, we are working hard through this election, my Conservative candidates and I, to put forward positive solutions to secure our future, to secure your freedoms, and make a better Canada for us all. On the issue of housing and affordability, voters continuously have expressed the challenges they're facing with the cost of living and the cost of homes. We've seen house prices explode the cost of groceries going up, the cost of fuel, the cost of heating your home. All of these things are costing people in their day-to-day -day and month-to-month -month activities to the point where they just have to live month-to-month -month and not able to save for a down payment or a future uh, that they can see. Conservatives, we have a different approach. We commit to building one million new homes in the next three years to put into the market to take the pressure off of the, the overheated market that's there and make housing more affordable to all. Voters have also talked to me about the debt and increasing taxation. The past two years, we've seen our debt grow incredibly. That debt is going to have to be passed on to future generations, to the next generation, to pay back in taxes. And what way are they looking to collect more of those taxes? Well, it's in the purchase or in the sale of your home. The Liberals plan on taxing the sale of your home. We don't know by how much, 1%, 5%. We as Conservatives have a different plan. We will not be taxing the sale of your home. And in fact, we'll be looking at many other ways to reduce the cost of living, such as lower internet fees, lower uh, grocery costs, lower income or lower import fees to for products for people to purchase in Canada. Our First Nations also need to be part of our future here in Canada, a better part of our future in Canada. Truth and reconciliation. Our former Conservative government established that commission and the recommendations for that com commission came out in 2015. It's been six years and the Liberal government has failed to act on all of the recommendations in, from that commission. I've met with First Nations here trying to, to understand what it is they need in their communities and I commit to continuing to work with those five First Nations in the North Okanagan Shushwap to make sure that as we move forward in reconciliation, we all understand each other better. On the issue of climate change, Canada can no longer ignore the fact that the climate is changing around us. It's essential that we have a plan here in Canada to address climate change and to better, commit, uh, to better equip communities to deal with climate mitigation and the impacts on our communities, whether it's fires or floods or droughts, all of these things affect each of us differently in our homes, in our communities. That is why I'm proud of our conservative plan to secure the environment that was released in April to make sure that we have a plan, a credible plan, to tackle climate change through carbon sequestration, through transition from gas vehicles to electric and hydrogen to making sure that products that come into Canada are produced under the same environmental standards as those here in Canada. A carbon import levy is what we're looking at to make sure that Canadians and businesses here in Canada compete on an equal scale on that issue. We also need to, to bring in accountability to government. We've seen over the past six years how this government has ignored the rule of law, have ignored the ethics, broken ethics violations in a number of ways. 
we will bring in strong, stronger accountability laws, stronger ethics uh, rules and powers for the ethics commissioner to make sure the government is not only transparent but also accountable. I hope you'll take a look at our conservative plan to secure the future at conservative.ca slash plan. It's been an honor to serve the North Okanagan Shushwap for the past six years as your member of parliament. I hope I can continue to do that and ask for your support on September 20th. Thank you. For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hadju in Vernon.